welcome to the CFG Gamecast episode number 104, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics of the previous week. We stream a new episode on Saturdays and release it on podcast services like Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, or Podbean. So show us some love. Give us a follow, a like, a comment, what have you on any of our podcast services out there, or go to our main website, confreaksandgeeks.com to not miss an episode i am mr cfg games himself davis green and with me today are my two awesome co-hosts i got lex in the second seat what is going on my cyborg uh not too much i had to take it a little easy this week uh with their changes kind of mess my robot parts up i'm a robot not from the future sadly i wish i was uh but i had a fun i had a fun day yesterday with us playing uh still playing through uh, white day, which I started mm. hell mode because I've beaten very easy, easy, normal, and hard, and I mm. died three times on hell mode, and it gave me the like ending, like this is how many hours you played kind of thing, and I was like, excuse me, on hell mode, if I die three times, I'm like done, so I have to start over. Oh. oh, I don't know about this. So mm. I'm going to have to like maybe play again on hard and go through because there are a few like I want to get the dolls, the figurines, which mm. no walkthroughs ever talk about. So there's some really cool, interesting things that I, I need to get, but I can only get on hard or hell. And if hell's going to be that much of a you know what, I'm just going to play on hard mode again. But we were playing that, had some fun uh, Uno time on Thursday with Mick and Nightmare and Sarah. Or no, no, not Nightmare, I'm sorry. Uh, Sarah and uh, Mick. And uh, I, we kicked each other's butts at Uno and it was fun. And then yesterday we went Halloween shopping. And as you can see, the cat has her, her witch condo. Yeah. And if you mm-hmm. happen to go by Target and they have other versions of this, if you do not tell me, I will find you and hunt you down. No, but please do DM me. I've, I'm on Twitter. Please DM me. I would love to get her more like cat condos. I know they have yeah. like cute Christmas ones that are like two story. I want them. <laughs> I want all of them. She loves it. As I was building it, she was inside of it. But yeah, my week's been good. I'm really happy. My body is like, I hate life. And I'm like, why? Everything's great. Shut up. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's a mind over body kind of situation this week. So That's it better get its act together for this week because things are happening. We're definitely feeling a lot better than what it was last week. So that's that's all that really matters. Though, yeah. Too. Yes. That's and good. It was weird. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad everything's going back again, kind of semi back to normal. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll go with that. Once you get into that, like, once it, seasonal changes always doesn't do this to me where, like, I go mm-hmm. into this. I want to sleep 24 seven. Can't keep my eyes open mode. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm getting past that. Cause I woke up super early like Friday. I was like, I'm doing arts and crafts all day. And I woke up like a kid on Christmas morning and I was like, it's seven a.m. Why am I awake? Mm-hmm. Let's go. You know? So I'm, I definitely, I'm starting to like get past that. Okay. We're getting into a new season. Cause I, I tell you what, I don't know what it is, but like the moment, like, fall hits my body is like yes like i can (laughs) be myself and just wear all my horror clothing and walk into like with my bloody shirts and like no one says anything weird (laughs) maybe they do i don't know but you know what i'm saying i have creepy clothes but yeah i really do not know what you're saying (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but do you know the uh do you know the person who I think would be the perfect spokesperson for Steel Reserve? <laughs> well, I do. His name is the five star general of the itty bitty Smitty committee. I got Smitty in the third seat. What's going on, my dude? Chilling, my friends. Good to see you guys. Again, we did miss you uh last week, Lex. Uh, but glad that you are feeling better. So no, no, it. I like mean, it, especially with seasonal changes. Exactly. Mm. Really quickly uh, to Monkey Blood on uh, on uh, Twitch chat here says that just a quick tip: Xbox Series S is available on Xbox.com. They're just sitting. They're also available, I believe, on Amazon as well. But for me, if well. I it, yeah, if I'm gonna wow. get one, I would get an X, not an S. You know what I mean? Because I feel like, uh-huh. at least in my situation, I feel like uh, it would. I would end up regretting it 
because it, you know, and I'd want to upgrade anyway to an X. So it's like, I'll just wait personally. But again, that's if I were to, I don't know that I'm, I don't think I, I don't know. Huh? You said it wrong. The way you said what? it was wrong. The way you should have said it was, yeah, the way you should have said it was, well, at least in my situation. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the little snobby. I'm sorry, I snobby forgot to put my pinky up. Hold on, yes. hold on. Here you go. Uh, yeah, over here on my side of the tracks. Uh, you know, we'll see. Indubitably. We'll see the uh, upper echelon of the. Uh, no. Of the deal. no. <laughs> Uh, that's not a terrible. Uh, that's not, but yes, if I were, I'm not. I'm not. I'm in no situation right now to be going around throwing ducats around like that. Uh, we did last week. We finished one of the endings for 12 minutes. Absolutely love that game. That game is so much fun. Uh, I want to go back and now? do some. I believe six or seven uh, mm. different endings. So. It was really for, for like, I really loved the concept of it. The story was good. Obviously, the voice acting was fantastic. Everything about that was great. We got season 15 of Destiny 2 started this past Tuesday. We got a bunch of spicy, spicy stuff for the future of Destiny. Uh, the Witch Queen's coming out February 22nd of next year. That's going to be huge. So, basically, this is the epilogue to the Witch Queen. So, things are already starting to move in in the motion for what that big DLC is going to be. There's going to be crafting added. Uh, we found out in an anniversary event because it's the 30th anniversary. Uh, there's going to be a new dungeon. We're getting Gallahorn back. Uh, they're making changes to Childs of uh, Trials of Osiris. Huge, huge changes. This is definitely getting back or getting more into what I think their original vision was for Destiny mm -hmm. uh, for Destiny as a whole as a, a ARPG. So this is like, or an MMO uh, ARPG. So this yeah. is, you know, it was really exciting, dude. Like I walked away from that. So, so hyped. I literally threw my wallet at the screen uh, and said, take my money, Bungie. Cause you got it. You guys are there. You're hitting all the strides, all the thing. I am here for it. Uh, and then obviously baby stuff. We we've been uh, just doing, doing baby things, staying up hey. more. So squirt kitty to me. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, so I'm trying to find and, and help out and bring some relief as far as with that. So uh, everything has been going well. I'm Man, always, about always happy to help uh, with the baby stuff, by the way. Yeah. Well, <laughs> my mom actually gets out here on Monday. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So she'll be out here till like the 10th. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm mm -hmm. always happy mm -hmm. to help. Just hit me up, buddy. Mm -hmm. well, the mm -hmm. Oh, the 10th of September. Man. Jeez. That's great. That's cool. I can't believe we're almost in prologue. September already. Prologue, not epilogue. Oh, right, it's a prologue. Right. Okay, it's a prologue to the Witch it's Queen cool. DLC. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's good. I love the fact that he's in it. I need more friends. Like Destiny, you guys have no idea how much Destiny means to me. Cause that's <laughs> really the game that I really started connecting with people online. Before that, you know, again, I had never really, and I, I had, did, uh, I was in a Call of Duty clan and stuff like that. That's, but Destiny was where I really, and I met people from my clan in real life. I had never done anything like that. I grew up very much that you don't talk or tell any of that stuff. People, you, that's how you get kidnapped, son. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? From that to going to people's houses that I play video games with, it really changed my whole perspective on how people were communicating and connecting with each other. Uh, so it'll always have a, a, a very big place in my heart. Yeah. And I'm, I I love the fact that seven years down the road, we're it, they're really hitting their stride as far as everything that's really going like on the there. And I'm loving it. I really like the fact that you like you like even the even though I mean I know you how much you love Destiny, but I know that you like you know took a break from it because you yeah. were. Rightfully so. That was terrible. No, yeah, it, was it was terrible. That first, no, no, no. that first year of year two was terrible. Everybody yeah, I mean, knows it. Everybody. Everyone it. should. Yeah, everyone. I mean, it's very justifiable <laughs> why you decided to say no to it because it was like it was it was BS for the most part, you know. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, yeah, but like, no, but it's cool that they that they they they're now on the track of like where it's where you feel that they're they're listening or uh that they're where where you you were wanting it to be at like and i think it's where they wanted it to be at they just weren't there 
and they're finally yeah. make making the not only by you know incorporating story into the game and stuff like that they've pushed the limits a little bit by having live events love to see it love you know again that's why i always have respect for fortnite and what they've done innovation wise to what you can do within their game within a game um Mm. you know so they've done that so they're making they're making those moves but with crafting and stuff like that like this is where i think they always saw destiny being and it's taken them seven years to get there yeah, so. that's true. Well, like we'll see where that where, where that's going to go. But that's good. I'm glad. That, yeah. yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying that. What about um, yourself, brother? I know you've been busy, busy, haven't really gotten a chance to stream. What's yeah. on your plate? I'm on week three on that, dude. Like, I really hope I can get back into it. But uh, but next week we're going to be doing some changes a little week bit. Week three. Uh, yeah, I haven't been no. streaming for almost three weeks. I I Dang. apologize. Yeah. Half the time it doesn't tell me when any of my friends are online. So if I don't notice, I'm sorry. It's not you, it's me <laughs> kind of situation. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, but, but you were uh, so busy. You were you and Smitty yeah. worked so hard. And I, I landed. Yeah, so I'm like, a fellow princess. Yeah. <laughs> I've just been, uh, yeah, I've been busy trying to take care of some other stuff uh, 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 so far. I mean, in the meantime, when I do play games, I've been playing Final Fantasy fourteen like a madman. So, uh, right, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to catch up to the end of the end of the game uh, until the new expansion comes out uh, already. So, like, uh, so that's insane. So, like, uh, but the story is just so good. I don't know what it is about the story, but it just, like, it totally, like, really got it really got me and uh i've just been playing a lot of it uh so uh and then i was playing uh like i was still playing some 12 minutes when i had the time um yeah. been loving loving 12 minutes i want to stream that so badly uh but it's like uh but uh because i like i think it's a it's a really good game um mm-hmm. uh and stuff so i definitely would definitely uh would appreciate uh, 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 the uh, the funness with that too. It, ooh, excuse me. And I also got some. Uh, but you um, been dealing some stuff near the back end of a uh uh, 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 stuff. Got some awesome interviews coming up here next month, and some and actually an awesome guest host here uh, on the yeah. CFG page. So it's gonna be freaking awesome. So yeah, so I, I've been I talked I've, to them earlier. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, so like I've been uh. Yeah, I've been on. The, I've been going on. Uh, I've been going on all cylinders right now. Um, and uh, and we just got we got our uh, special the Bujicon shirts in. So people who who got they're going to, they're going to get their shirts this week. It's, it's a guarantee. Nice. It's going to happen. So you're going to get your Bujicon shirts for the people who donated for uh, the uh, fighting game tournament for for charity. Uh, so uh, yeah, so I can't wait till we get uh, till till those go out. So we could so I could start. <laughs> planning for the 24 hour stream in november <laughs> so that's just yeah. that's, just, that's like that's just going to be that, that's just going to be crazy so uh and yeah. what's the date Busy. on that uh that's a good question i, I for that. sure thought i was coming and then no didn't you say you had something covid it's hit the and air. then it was supposed it's it's kind of up in the air because we don't know like november what, 13th oh, fuck, yeah it's yeah so close because like <clears throat> he keeps yeah, saying that the wedding is the 13th and i'm like i'm pretty sure it's the sixth but mm, i don't know uh, how long like if it is like well, that's just a matter of just looking at your ju- looking at your looking at the itinerary on when you're when you're <laughs> when the wedding is, and we then you'll know for sure. Ha- they just sent out the invitations, so we didn't really get an itinerary until literally last week. Um, well, was your matter, we- I was like, wait a second, <laughs> but we don't know like other stuff too, so we gotta kind of like look into yeah. it. I'm in a I wedding in know. September. I'm totally in a wedding. If y'all hit that limit, month. I was gonna shave half my head. I was gonna let Smitty do it live. Oh, well, I, I want to see. I mean, we could still let's see if I don't screw it up this time. But uh, we can still see if we can make. <laughs> are you going? Are, we'll are see. We, if that's going to happen. Or no? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet because I'm in the air as far yeah. as like, oh God, especially yeah, having a new too. baby, and then yeah. you know what I mean. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to. The worst <gasps> thing is about the baby. It's a big thing. I was worried about. It, I'm worried setup about. We're like, yeah. you guys are there, and me and Smitty are here. Maybe. 
I don't and know what that is. Well, yeah, we'll talk like about it here. And, like, and that's, that's like future, that is future us problems. That's future us yeah, problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I honestly don't know, but like we'll it's just, it it's especially like since we're going to be at a gaming store, so like mm. uh, this time around, so this is going to be a, a a weird trek, and, and plus we got actually a lot of sponsors for that. And uh, I've been getting a lot of spon- local sponsors as well as some big sponsors to give us uh, gaming keys and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That one is going to be the fun one, uh, and uh, 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 to go with. But like I said, COVID is the big one. Uh, 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 I could do it if you can't make it. You can't make it. I'm not going to force anyone because of the, the circumstances and situation. Like for me, yeah. I hate the fact that we that uh, to to I have to travel to Arizona just to I mean uh, to to get uh, to get this. So that means I'm going to be on a plane with a mask on for right for two uh, two and a half hours. I you know, did, so you know, I, went to Mexico I, I, this summer, dude. It was terrible. Ooh. It's terrible. Yeah, it's <laughs> not, my ears were hurting. Like I was like, oh, so not comfortable. Yeah, so yeah. I've been on two flights. It is what you got to do. One from here to Florida, which is like four to six hours, maybe. Mm, mm, That's yeah, that's yeah. at least a four hour. Don't want to deal with that. Going. I fell asleep and I drooled in it, and I was like, "This is so gross." That's yeah, perfect. Though. No. Gross. I'm not dealing with that. Yeah, yeah. So if I don't have to deal with it, I won't have to deal with it. But like I said, yeah. uh, but we're, we'll do it. We're, we're doing this for the kids, so that's what's going to be. This it's is for plus kids. Work. Yeah. And then what? Uh, and then what is a better way? Because like our goal this year, man, we're going ham on it this year. We're we're going for ten thousand this year. So that's uh that's going to be crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do if, yeah. if we hit ten thousand. I I was going should do something Wait, super special goal? on that. Yeah, the goal is ten thousand. Oh, okay, okay. We're, we're already at two thousand already mm. because of the fighting game tournament. So like, mm. that's very mm-hmm. true. Yeah. So mm. like, it's it's pretty. Uh, so it's pre- it's very doable, especially yeah. since we got in the sponsors, sponsors and the uh, and stuff like that. So we'll see. Right. Yeah. We'll see. Yep. I don't, well, anyways, we know folks don't want to be talking about the extra life uh, stream because that's that's months away. We'll worry about that when to get closer. So let's go through the normal rigmarole that we normally like to do each and every week. So uh, uh, each of us pick a new topic of discussion within video games from the previous week. The topic mm-hmm. would or could be about a specific game or something that happened in the gaming industry itself. And we don't want to just uh, uh, have uh, people talk. Ooh, oops, I have a little thing on the front of it. There we go. And we just don't want us to be talking about the topic topics with uh, itself we want you the listeners uh, or viewers on twitch youtube uh, youtube or facebook live to be a part of the conversation so uh just type in whatever you're wanting to put inside the chat we will love to discuss it with you and we'll go from there uh let's see giancarlo can listeners find you on destiny 2 and uh can we add you as a friend that's what uh giancarlo is asking you smitty uh yeah absolutely uh i don't know if you send me a message and uh but i should be what well, no 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 because destiny changed so it's a destiny it's a destiny number with a hashtag send me a message uh giancarlo and and uh i'll shoot you over but yeah absolutely the more the merrier i i, I love it dude yeah see that's where we go there we go so <laughs> so we have another person coming into the mix yeah with the boys let's just say with that let's go with it <laughs> with the boys <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get this topic started. So I think I'll start today. I know we did. I didn't really discuss what, who's going first and second and third, so we'll go random right. here. Uh, so the uh, my topic is we're going to talk about Gamescom this year, this week, and uh, Gamescom 2021 happened, uh, and that's the one that's in uh, Europe. Uh, that they uh, it's basically the E3 of Europe. Uh, that they did, uh, they usually do like announcements and stuff like that. But this year, I don't know what it is, but this year they there was a lot of things, a lot of cool things that they announced at Gamescom this year. Uh, so uh, I'll just uh, name a couple, uh, uh, a few of the big highlights uh, from the most part of it. But like the biggest thing is that like like uh, they have a lot of uh, 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 the like a lot of triple A titles that was. Uh, and highly anticipated titles that they that they uh, that they revealed on it. One of the one of the big ones that they announced was the uh, the remake the uh, uh, oops not that wrong one the remake of uh, uh, Saints Row 
They're doing a, oh, uh, right. a yeah the redo to Saints Row. So they just announced that nice. they're, they're go- yeah they're going to be doing a re- and they uh, and then they also I think they, I believe they also did a uh, they they gave a release date for this too. So this was a yeah. February tw- a February twenty fifth release date uh, uh, from this. Now if you don't know what Saints Row is, uh, Saints Row is was basically the competition of what GTA. It's yes. always been like it was always been Saints Row or it's been GTA. GTA has always been the number one uh, hit of this. Uh, this is just the giant sandbox. This of what GTA was, but it was much more sillier and much more crazy. Like remember, I believe like Saints Row three or Saints Row four. You're a superhero that was also the president of the United States or whatever, and you just oh, did whatever really? the hell you wanted. Yeah, it was really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they had a weird story and stuff and uh you had keith david like <laughs> as like your Damn. tutorial dude it was really it was really interesting how all that worked so so they, they basically are doing a revamp of this so this was a real big one that uh that they uh that they were showing off on uh uh, uh at the show so i'm really looking forward to this one especially nowadays with 4k 60 oh my right. god so that's going to be very nice. Uh, but then also they showed uh, the gameplay. Uh, uh, they, there was a trailer for the uh, the company who gave us um, um, XCOM. Uh, the Marvel, it's called Marvel Midnight too. Suns. Yeah, Marvel Midnight Suns was another one that they uh, that they also announced uh, that they also showed off. Just they didn't show off a game, but they did show off like you know the characters that you can be in. So. Uh, there isn't a reveal yet, but there will be a reveal on September 1st for that. So next week, oh, uh, sometime okay. to show how the gameplay is going to be. But the yeah, but this one is going to be like you're going to be playing like how it's a tactical, uh, it's a tactical yeah. team, uh, uh RPG ish kind of game. So, but you're using Marvel characters instead of like you know aliens versus humans in this one, which, yes. which is I am really so here cool. for this. Yeah, there's I'm Blade, definitely. Here, there's Wolverine. I love how yeah. they've been incorporating in these games because there's a mobile game that I started playing, Marvel, uh, like Revelations or something like that or whatever. But mm. it, it is a, another one that's kind of like it's almost like DC Online, uh, but yeah. it's mobile and it's all it's Marvel characters. Is that what Adam's and playing? Yeah, I'm Not loving sure. it. I am so here for them. That yeah. just came, that just literally came out recently, right? Revolution, yes. like right? Yeah, 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 it came out this week. Yeah, yeah. Ma- yep. Adam's been playing it. Not Has he, I am playing it too. Tell him to be my friend. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, it's no, just, like, yeah. It's, but XCOM too, though. Like, and I never played any of the XComs, but I know mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Like, I love a good tactical game, and and those are kind of like my my like. Th- those are like my hidden not like my hidden passions but like i love playing those that's what i chill off stream you know what i mean like things yeah. like that yeah. stellar stuff like that that i could just chill do other things and play at the same time uh i'm excited for that one that one's got me very have you excited. played uh have you played gears of war tactics yet no i haven't played that either kenobi that. though yeah kenobi like very much high reviews uh on that love that sure. game dude that was the mm-hmm. reason why I got Game Pass before. Were you going to say something, Lex? I'm sorry. I was. He was saying in my in his off time to relax. In my off time, I play Spider Solitaire. There you go. I don't even know what that <laughs> is. Or freestyle. Some form of solitaire. Real? I know Three, solitaire. I, say, I don't know. Solitaire. Say There's Spider Solid. There's different types of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it spider Solitaire is a little different. Like I'm a grandmaster on that, but yeah, hmm. it's it's as uh, I like card games. I grew up playing yeah. card games. That's my I, thought say, I thought you were going to say wishbone. I would have been fun if you <laughs> was going to go with wishbone. that. that been fun. You What's mother. The story, that wishbone? game will haunt me for the rest of my freaking life. <laughs> and then the, the emulator we found freezes after Good I work. get on the mm. island. Mm. <laughs> I agree, oh. monkey. Uh, tacticals, like as far as with that, like it may not be your thing, but like with the Marvel spin on it, I mean, I think it's worth people checking out. You know, if you nope. if you exactly. enjoy Marvel, reason. yeah, that is the perfect reason to to get into this is because the, the mm. because it's it's a new IP with Marvel, so Marvel yes. people can relate to Marvel characters, and then now it's like a new style of people that my people uh, people will understand. Kind of like back in the day, you remember when Final Fantasy VII came out? I'm not gonna say this is a Final Fantasy VII situation, but it was like the style and the graphics changed the, what a traditional RPG was. So mm-hmm. when that when that changed, it, most people's introduction to RPGs was seven, 
And then they mm-hmm. were like, okay, you know, and I got this. And that's what made seven so popular uh, uh, itself. So there you go. So, I mean, th- hopefully, uh, who knows? Maybe people might ch- change their mind because you're going to be Marvel characters. I wish there were some X-Men. But we'll see how that goes. So we'll see what that. Are, uh, what do you mean? Yeah. I'm in, like, more X-Men besides Wolverine. I'm talking about, like, oh. like uh, Cyclops, Beast. Uh, I mean, yeah. like, like, I mean uh, uh, more diverse uh, uh, X-Men. I'm sure they're going to focus mostly on Avengers. But it's really cool that they have Blade and stuff like that in it. Mm-hmm. Um, Halo Infinite has a, str- has a has a release date now. Yes. The, the, that was a, nice. yeah, that yes. was a, it was announced at uh, Gamescom, which, like I said, I am surprised that they announced all this at Gamescom. I, I was like, what I the know, yes. I swear you yes. keep saying at GameStop. <laughs> I'm just imagining <laughs> all these little kids like outside of GameStop, like looking at a TV, like making notes. <laughs> Sorry. The premiere first at GameStop. <laughs> Halo Infinite. You see, like, you see Jeff Keighley, like, right outside of random GameStop, just doing these announcements. But, <laughs> like, there you go. But, uh, uh, you have so like it, it's it, the official street release date on Halo Infinite is December eighth. So we'll see how that's going to go. Uh, we'll like we've already talked about like uh, what we're expe- the expectations of what what Halo is going to be because of uh, certain things are going to be take are not going to be opening day. But we'll see. Not bad. But we'll go with that. Uh, let's see what else is out there. Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the one thing I liked. Uh, one of the things I loved. Uh, Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Uh, they just announced that they have they don't have a direct street date for this yet, but it is coming mm-hmm. out in 2022. But the cool thing I think about this is that they're allowing you to use April O'Neil as another character. Yeah, I as saw a fifth that. character in this. Now, I know a lot of people were talking about they were wanting Splinter to be the fifth character and, and hell, I mean, it's still really early to tell they may still add splinter into it but i like the fact that you could actually play april o'neill in a beat-em-up and this is like ever like when you think about yeah. it it's like, like you've never seen her play you never see her as a playable character so i, like, I definitely right. love love the idea of her being uh being a part of this so this is going to be a fun one when that comes out uh, so, so yeah so like uh, and she looks like she man she looks like she is kicking but uh, on well, the trailer, she did though. the show too. Like she did some butt kicking, and as a little kid, did you what? I don't remember. Kid, mm-hmm. I, I don't know remember. That. I don't oh, remember I that. Do. I said she'd, <laughs> she'd be in an alleyway, and like they would like uh, go to attack her, and she'd start swinging away. Of course, somebody mm-hmm. would like come to rescue her, but she she held her own a lot. And the cartoon mm-hmm. is like as a kid, I remember because I was like, she's a redhead and she's a strong female. Excuse me, thank you very much. So that's mm. she was like a huge part. Oh, I'm so excited she's a part of this. Hell yeah, I'm yeah. down. Even though I'm bad. Oh, yeah. So then, uh, yeah. So I mean, yeah. So I mean, it was really cool. The, uh, I think one of the big ones though too is uh, it, uh, was that part. Uh, there is uh, there is an actual release date too for Horizon Forbidden West, which I don't believe them. I don't think it's going to come out February. <laughs> uh, but like, yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it's going to come out February. It says it's it's it, the uh, they put the release date for February eighteenth, twenty twenty two. Uh, so put take that with a grain of salt. Um, because I believe, because right now February is stacked with games, so I don't think that the I won't be surprised that they will that that one's going to get delayed. So and plus it's like, yeah, we'll see. We'll just see. We'll just, uh, let's just let's just say okay, they have a they have a filler date <laughs> for Horizon yeah. for Midwest. Yeah. Uh, so I we'll go that's with smart that. because that's what I said. I was like, because if they're really truly trying to then <clears throat> excuse me release God of War next year, which I don't think I don't see that happening, but. I would love to be proven incorrect. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? For them to be able to release both those games, you have to have one early on the front end of the year and then one mm-hmm. on the back end. Otherwise, they'll end up competing against themselves. But I think there's also a good chance that that God of War doesn't come out till like 2023. Um, oh, yeah. I don't think God of War yeah. is in the spectrum of 2022 whatsoever. So, like, I think right. that uh, God of War is going to be like, I mean, we don't even, all we got is a, still a logo. We don't even seen gameplay or anything about it. We haven't mm-hmm. even seen clips of it. So, like, mm-hmm. there's no. There's no way that I could see that game uh, that that's coming out in uh, in the in, in the next year, which is fine. I mean, like, the, but I mean, I'm saying that I think if anything, Horizon's going to come out later in the year, but I don't think it's coming in the first quarter. That's what uh right. that's my own thing. That that's my own prediction on this. What is uh retro saying? Let's see what retro saying. 
uh great games should be delayed so they can be great and not mediocre <laughs> you know that's true <laughs> that's very uh, true that, itself. he said he also said god of war is 2024 and yeah. you might be right i mean we'll see we'll see if dude i'll feel a lot more i'll feel a lot better if i saw some gameplay or anything uh yeah. for it next year uh, we'll see when that comes but you yeah. can be right as far as 2024. I feel like I can I'm, see it as 2024. Yeah, I can easily see it 2024. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, uh, it's it's really <laughs> 2025 retro. Like, yeah, we'll see how. The, yeah, like, but then again, like, uh, I, I'm going. I'm not going to say that that PlayStation has the leisure to kind of have to be slow on their releases because right now PlayStation Five is still very slow on like you know strengths of games like that. I mean, they got more than Xbox. Well, yeah, it doesn't say much though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's true. like there, every, everything I mean, is a mess as far as with that. Yeah, it's a it's a hot mess right now. So, like, I think that it's uh they at least have games. I mean, Xbox yeah. does not. So, we'll, uh, uh, for a console, that is, you know. But we'll see. Uh, Matt, was, oh hey, Maddie, what's up? Uh, he says Turtles in Time is still one one of my favorites. Yeah, Turtles in Time is yes, the one that that's a say. classic. One of my favorite favorite phrases in Turtle in Time was bury my shell at wounded knee. <laughs> that was the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So I just think that yeah, so I mean no, but like I said, like I would say this is probably the the the, the litest gamescom this year. Uh usually uh I wanted to gonna say it's a pat like a a, a Passover show, but more like it was more like a show that was like, oh, here's the. Or, or was, I would say I would say it was more of a recyclable show because there's two other shows that happened before Gamescom, before uh, that like gives out announcements. But this one legitimately gave release dates, gave like mm-hmm. you know gave that uh, gave uh, gave a premieres. I mean, this was actually very, very a very good year for it. So uh, uh, unfortunately, it was all online, uh, which. Uh, which would be the, which would be the sad thing, but uh, yeah, but we'll we'll but uh, yeah, so I'll just keep it up, keep it up. There's there's a lot of cool things that's going to happen. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. The uh, the Xbox Halo Infinite Limited Edition console. Mm-hmm. That, oh really? I got yeah, bought by bots. Oh oh, they're, they're all sold out because of that. I'm not bots, surprised. dude. Bots got them. Yes, <laughs> of course, of course. If you I'm can't surprised. get an Xbox, uh, whatever. The, the big one right now, you can get the S, but you can't get the X, I think. I don't know, dude. Their name in conventions is terrible. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the whatever the whatever the big one is, and that's it's what that X. was, I believe. Yeah, the X. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure X. bots bought them up. Then you can see now they're selling them for like $1,000 on eBay and stuff like that. It's like, come on, dude. No, if anyone buys... Okay, first off, if anyone buys... An they Xbox will. Series X controller or game console for a thousand dollars. They will. You deserve. You deserve to be scammed. You deserve to get scammed. Damn, There's, dude. No, <laughs> no man. Yeah, that's the thing. Come it is on. To There's some it. people, and I get it, and I understand. There's some people that means you're a at a thousand dollars. I know that's no, crazy. You're it you're, you're crazy. hitting a thousand. Yeah, you're like, hitting a thousand dollars. I mean, what? Like but, at that point, there's no excuse yeah. to be going for PC. Absolutely no excuse to say, you know what? Screw it. You can keep your you can keep your console. I'm gonna switch this over to a PC at this point. It's like forget yeah. you. There's no yeah. reason at that. I can understand if it was like a five if, 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 if it was a five to six hundred dollar difference, if it was a hundred dollar difference, fine. There's yeah. then there is that debate. You're hitting four you're hitting a thousand dollars. And you're going to be getting yourself a console for a thousand dollars. Little people are paying them ducats. Yeah, and you, it's mm. like no, you you deserve it. You deserve to get mm. scammed. I'm sorry. That's just that's just <laughs> what it is. Take it. It's like okay, fine. Little, well, little Joey gets his console system, and then you, but then this dude gets something better. Would logically just go buy buy even a used PC for a thousand bucks at uh, uh uh out there. I don't know. Just saying. <laughs> 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 I know. Uh, uh, maybe uh, did y'all talk about Dying Light Two? Yeah, no, we didn't talk about Dying Light Two. No, although I know that is big for people, though. I know there's people yeah. that enjoy it. That's a, I haven't had a chance to play it yet, though. Dying Light Two is it. a freaking amazing <laughs> game. Like, no, well, the first, the first Dying Light, yeah, well, yeah, Dying, yeah Light. It's, Dying Light Two has not come out yet, right? No, uh, Dying Light Two has been this weird limbo of uh, of delay for the past three years, actually. You know, it's funny how I learned about Dying Light 2 is when I was at E3 in 2019. 
and then they mm-hmm. showed they, they even gave us like a freaking um a freaking uh statue of the character and stuff uh, oh, uh, nice. of it and stuff like uh uh so like i was like man dying like was like was look look pimp yeah it was a lot of parkour you did a lot of building parkour and then you did you're fighting these zombies and stuff but this you should check you should check the trailer the uh dying light 2 trailer from 2019 and you'll be like wow this game is good so we'll see how that how 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 this is gonna go or how how it's gonna go so i don't know how i'm gonna keep up with everything dude like you have the the blood hunt Stuff that's coming out, which that was a lot of fun. You've got yep. Back for Blood. You've got mm-hmm. uh, Far Cry Six is coming out. Jurassic World Evolution Two. I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. Uh, Evolution Two. No, I know what that is. I, I saw something. Now I was that was me speaking to myself out loud. It was dumb. Yeah, uh, oh, okay. I saw something about uh, Age of Empires. Splitgate, mm-hmm. I think, just opened up, and people are super like super enjoying that you one. Know what's funny? I met the the creator of that like years ago when he first was like kind of on the oh, circuit. Like, yeah, and uh, like him and his mom actually, he was really weird. But <laughs> him and his mom, him and his mom are developers of it, which is really oh, cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, the, like there was they they were doing this at conventions and stuff, and uh, was trying to get the hype uh, the hype on it. And it was a very it's a very solid game even back in the day. Yeah. But I'm sure, I'm glad it's picking up some steam. So that's that's awesome that they're finally releasing it. Yeah. So, yep. No, yeah, they are in crazy. season zero right now. <laughs> yep. So definitely check uh-huh. it out. Yeah. So the, 2022 has some really good promising stuff that's coming out. And uh, we'll see how this all how this all goes. So, you know, so mm-hmm. th- there we go. All right. Well, there's my topic. Let's go over to Lex. <laughs> I got you off your whole thing off. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, so. Uh, I haven't had a topic in like two weeks, but uh, I, know. I, picked an, I picked an interesting topic. So I, I, I don't mess with Facebook too much. Um, I feel like I just get myself in trouble over there. I also don't, I don't have a gaming Facebook page, so I don't really see any gaming related stuff over there, but mm-hmm. Twitter, I do keep an eye out for, and <clears throat> I'm on a stream team and they had commented, Hey, Guys, heads up, do not post hashtag Twitch do better. Everyone who's posting that is then getting a hate raid. And I'm oh, like, Oh, that's what's I did oh, this is all news to me. So, I know about what you're talking about. All right, oh, sorry, I'm gonna shut up. This, this is mm-hmm. Alice down the rabbit hole, y'all. So mm-hmm. it started out, that's how I heard about it. Right. And then I saw a couple of articles talking about it, but it was it didn't really go too in depth of what I already knew. Now, Mm -hmm. there is a man, Commander Root. I'm sure you all know him and love him. He creates beautiful tools for Twitch for free for you to use as a content creator. Um, Is Commander Root the dude that's always in all people's Twitch pages, like, too? So, like, basically, yeah. He's everybody. He's a real person. He is a real person. And he'll say, if you don't like me lurking, just let me know and I'll leave. (laughs) <laughs> like he's, he's so sweet but watching his streams is really cool too like I, I lurk on him a lot um i we do have posts for information if you are a moderator for somebody or if you are also a content creator or just for knowledge for your friends who are you know mods and content creators um for you to pass along but so that's how i'd heard about it originally was hashtag twitch do better And it was marginalized groups that were getting hit. Now, Washington Post did a very interesting kind of expose on it. So if you guys remember last year, a lot of people were asking, like, we need better tags. We need better representation. Yeah. I absolutely agreed. I was like. Chinese tag, dude. I love it. I'm queer. I feel kind of weird about that, though. It's kind of weird. I love it, dude. No, because then that, that that's a way for me to then then me connect with other people that associate with that tag. Because some um, people specifically what, go out looking for tags, and they'll tag click those wait, tags. Did you say which well, Chinese? Chinese. 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 That's that how that I mean? met. Uh, I'm sorry. What? What does that mean? I'm half Guyanese. It oh, is a, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did. I didn't hear you properly. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. Which is I know quite surprising to, to find that there's a guy guy knees tag. I actually That's met somebody that lives out here in Vegas because of the guy knees tag. 
We wow. haven't linked up yet. Yes. No, no. <laughs> That's, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. <laughs> that, that is, it, it, absolutely nuts. So we haven't had a chance to link up or anything like that yet, but like, still, I, like, for me, like, I, I was like, I love that. I'll absolutely put that on there. Yeah. That also, I also kind of feel like it also puts a target on my back, but I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm I just, I'm just, I'm just saying, saying theoretically. I'm the rabbit hole. Well, well, I do I'm care, saying, but I, but I try not theoretically, to. Theoretically, like, it's kind of weird seeing, like, I mean, what, like saying, oh, okay, I'm a streamer. But then I'm also uh, I'm also black or African American or whatever it is, whatever the stream tag is on Twitch. It's like why does that why does that matter to that point of like kind of mm-hmm. trying to fi- uh, trying to figure that out? I've been trying to do it now. It's different in my opinion with LBGTQ or or like a representation towards that because technically it's not like it's not a rate it's not race at that point mm-hmm. the way I look at it. Like uh, uh, and if you're wanting to support. Like if you want to support lifestyle, then that's different. But like, uh, but I think specifically with race, I if I always felt weird, it's like saying, okay, I'm I'm uh, I'm CFG Games, uh, I'm a black streamer as opposed to like or or Asian or whatever streamer, and then just I'm classify black, yourself. Y'all. At, I'm yeah, black, y'all. I'm that. black, because I'm black, y'all. <laughs> yeah. I never really, yeah, I, I never really got was... into the deal towards right. that. <laughs> I knew that like black <laughs> been added. I, I haven't even searched. There's Italian and Greek. Yeah. <laughs> You're all set. No. Um. But here's the thing is, it, and here's the kicker, right? So we last year people were wanting more more tags and more representation. It originally started with the LGBTQ community because a mm. lot of allies were adding that to the tag, and people right. would go in thinking that they are part of the LGBTQ community. Only to find out they weren't weren't mm-hmm. knowledgeable in it whatsoever, but were trying to be good people. So mm. basically, they were like catfishing, essentially, with the tags. Yeah, so yeah. The tags were made, and then they thought about it, and they're like, "Well, why don't if we're going to make this, why don't we make this?" Right? And so the tags got more and more in depth, and that's great. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, now people are hate rating not just by the hashtag Twitch Do Better, but by physically looking for the tags. Um, so KKK groups uh, Damn, are coming. What? To, yep, they have a yeah, Twitch. Yeah, it's getting crazy. They've got a whole thing. So Commander Root, the sweetheart he is, I give you chef's kisses. He has created a tool to get rid of twenty over. I think it's over twenty five thousand bots. Uh, that mm. are helping in these hate raids. You have to do it in sections because it can't show them all at the same time. And then if you have a lovely little, uh, oh, my stream deck is, oh, damn my cord management. Uh, if you have a stream deck, you can essentially create what's called a panic button. Yeah. So he, when, when you have a raid, like a hate raid, your mods usually are like, uh-oh, and they'll, you know, turn it to followers only. Well, then these people start to follow and then we turn it to like, we slow down the chat emoji only or turn chat off completely. Well, this panic button can allow you to then customize it to your needs essentially so that you can have a panic button right there when you need it. No mods necessary. Um, And I think that they can control it too. I'm actually going to set all this up after we're done streaming while I'm waiting for all of my Borax crystals to do their thing. Um, but I thought that was really fantastic. And he makes these tools for free. Uh, and I Twitch doesn't pay him. Twitch does not pay this person, which pisses mm. me off, too, because he, he just – and I know it's out of the goodness of his heart, but, like, sweetheart, your talent is phenomenal, and you need to capitalize on that. I'm Hold sure on. You're he telling me he's not high- getting some sort of money from somewhere for doing this stuff? This is all out of the, sure the goodness of his heart? I'm sure yeah, no, 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 this dude's he, getting some he's, money. He's kind of, he's getting money from somewhere. Uh, but they're like from where though? I, you don't think I don't it's yeah. from, I don't think it's from Twitch. Twitch. No, nah, because they're, it ain't, it ain't they're like, oh, he's already here. creating these tools for free. They at one point, if I am not mistaken, were like getting mad at him, and they were like, you need to stop using these tools that we are not giving you that are third party because it's disrupting our X, Y, and Z. <laughs> and that could, Commander who put out a tweet pretty quick saying like, uh, it's not my program that's causing any issues. So <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And it, it, it's, he, I honestly think like he is doing it out of the kind of his heart. 
but he's so quick to make these programs. Yeah. I, I know he programs for a living. I'm sure he has a fantastic paying job that Twitch probably wouldn't even match. Um, just because, you know, I mean, they're kind of skeezy. Think about it. They take 50% of our profits. And then the whole, well, that's like, what's crazy. Oh, you're going to also get, you know, money from, from your commercials. Well, where? that's why I stopped doing bits. Because bits is like, wait, you pay for bits to then give it to your Tax friends, wise. and then they and then and then they take a chunk of that. I was like, mm, I can't Too do full. it. Yeah, you, they, they, you, pay, they double you buy the bits. Double bit. yeah. You buy right. the you buy the bits. If, if there's a tax on that, then you actually then you sell the bit. Then you give the bits out. It's, it's already they get a fraction of that uh, of that well, cost of bits. Yeah. It's like why are you gonna cut too much? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, and then they see, you know, we work, <laughs> we work sleep, sleep, la, 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 streamlessly with like Streamlabs and this and that. Mm. Let me tell you, it is stated that my subs are at a number. It is less than half than that. It doesn't even update them. So for the last mm. two months, I was, e I emailed Twitch. I was like, why didn't I get my my check i'm not that it's any more than like 150 but like i use that to buy dog treats and stuff you know and, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. what it goes to or, or more games for the stream and the, and they're like you need to check your analytics and i was like oh so my viewership is way up but other mm -hmm. stuff has gone way down and like the economy i get it like twitch is like this like you're on a mm -hmm. high and you're, you're for a week you could have 107 people in your chat the next week you have five that's just kind of how it works but and and there's not a lot of consistency but then it was kind of like just weird that out of nowhere i went from a little bit of consistency to absolutely nothing for like three and a half four months i was like oh this number lied to me so all of the programming that you say works seamlessly and updates on its own doesn't. So I've given you guys some tools. If you have questions, you guys are always more than welcome to message me like through Twitter. I don't answer Twitch messages from people. Um, and my Discord is kind of locked down right now because I was getting hate raids in there that were porn filled. So that was lovely. Well, for well, I, mean, I will have to say real quick though. That, I mean, like, 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 it's just, it's just ridiculous that why, that's why what, is that's it even why, happening? Why is it why a thing? It's even, like, how this is even like even something? And what's weird is that it's like you don't hear that for. I mean, I might be wrong, and let me know if I am. But like, you don't hear that on like YouTube or Facebook or any of the other ones. Right. So is it just a matter? Is it just a matter of we know that the the consensus is mostly on Twitch? Then they're going to just it's uh, it's going to hurt more on Twitch, or or is it just like like I mean like what the like what the heck, man? It's I mean just, that's a numbers so game though. Like that's where the majority of people are. They're on Twitch, people that watch live streams and stuff like that. So you're gonna yeah. have more of that. What's sad is the fact that we're getting there's no protection from that yeah, i've gotten mm -hmm. them yeah i've gotten them i've got I've had, I've had people hack into discord and like push out messages through there I on stream do. yeah and i was just like <gasps> you know what i mean it's like it's one thing but like you know and again i can't because like i'm older school so it's like look dude if you want to say something say something but say it to my face so i can beat you up but, right. <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? Like you got these people that'll come in and do crazy stuff like this. But then you do have the the fact that this is even a a thing, and and that you have to I have to you know go and create a panic button because it's inevitable. It's not. It hasn't happened to me. It's not a matter of if it's gonna happen to me. It's a matter of when it's gonna happen to me. And I'd rather be prepared. And for when it happened, I was actually watching somebody, uh, Cheese Kit, Big Cheese Kit, uh, the other night. They were so quick on it. I didn't even see a message go out, but they were having a conversation about it. it they, you know what I mean? Like, it was so fast. He has a song that's made up for it and everything. It was fantastic. Oh, he has a song made up for it? <laughs> he did a oh, song. Oh, that's hilarious. Song. It was so good. Can we get a recreation? <laughs> yeah. I, I had to sub. I, I subbed right then and there because I was like, I was like, yeah, dude, that, that is how you handled that. Um, but yeah, that's the fact awesome. that that's even something, there's got to be some sort of level of protection for things like that. And, and, and it's especially, um, it's especially irritating because they will, 
we're celebrating uh, Black History Month. We're celebrating Pride Month or whatever. But it's a, a you know, during the month. But it's like, look, mm-hmm. can we get some things that actually would help out in, in issues that we're seeing as communities, as people? Like, this shit is out here. It is it is happening to people. I've, I've seen it. It, it. Like, you know, the bot. I've seen some of the bots follow and stuff like that. It's like, look, you guys got to get control of that. But, again, it's right. not surprising from somebody that has taken 50% compensation for providing the platform and that's why i'm very firm believer in in these these competitive uh live streaming services and checking out because a lot of the things they are doing that stuff they are there there is stuff going on over there the cut the split between creator and platform you know is is very different so i highly recommend people take a look at at other options as well so i mean I don't know a lot of, sorry to interrupt you. I don't know a lot about Facebook gaming and how that works. Uh, But I know, of course, YouTube, they get hate comments nonstop. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. The raids are a little less there, but it is happening from what Retrolag is saying. Um, And uh, yeah, Zakara, you're six foot six self, five foot, uh, five feet. I'll come at you like a spider monkey if you want to say them words to me in the streets. Um, but they don't, but it, yeah, it, it's just, it, it's so mm. silly that we, we give you half of our income and you have a creator on your platform. That's creating programs for us for free. Mm. Yeah. What does that it's, say? What well, does it doesn't say that if they're ready say? for it. Just as much as how they're, it's, they're not ready for the DMCA, for the DMCA strikes. Whole... I mean, oh yeah. my I mean, God. It, it's I the same kind of thing. It's the same. We, it's the same kind of yeah. thing. Is what I'm saying. It's it's like they're not. They're not going to protect us. Of, it's it's just a it's, matter of them getting caught with their pants down, not 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 ready for any of this. And I mean, and uh, and I think that it's just like it, it could get better. We don't know because they they kind of keep it pretty close to their pocket when they do when they do development like that for the uh, uh for uh, for this. Uh, so like I mean, because like right now the big thing is that they like you. Do you remember, for instance, when when people were getting DMCA strikes because even after they mm-hmm. were deleting their their yeah. VODs, and then there there was no procedure to to go to uh, to to remove all of it, and then guess who was the guy that did the nuclear button to take care of that cleared out? Commander Root. Commander Root was the one that figured it out to say we're going to clear out. Uh, here's the here's the process so you can clear everything out in one button because otherwise. I mean, for small streamers, it's not a big deal, but for big streamers that have like a library of years and years of stuff right. that, that has it, it's a different story. It could be like, okay, there you go. So like I'm saying that theoretically that I think that it's just a matter of like an egg on their face. They're trying to figure out what they need to do to make sure to, to see if it's going to get, I mean, it's going to be fixed eventually by Twitch, but it's something that Twitch didn't like, you know, Will it though? Because well, I didn't know what's going That's on. What I need to know yeah. what's going on behind the scenes. Cause it's like, it's like where, like clearly, I, I feel timeline. like it's a structural thing because I don't feel then that they have enough people to handle issues like that. Versus, mm. and and I I feel like that is definitely something to take into consideration because why does it? I, I just don't understand. I'd love to be in those meetings or just to hear, you know what I mean, where they are at as a company when it comes to things like that because there could be things that they're trying to implement that there could be some sort of bureaucracy or or or, or, you know political stuff that that's holding it up or there's a number of things that could be but it's like look dude like that's a good point that's a that's a huge i mean if you're really doing things and stuff like that you could start your own thing where you're doing stuff and if you're able to drive people then to support you off of twitch that's just all Twitch loss. You know what yeah. I mean? But like, you yeah. know, right now the go-to is Twitch. That's where you, you know, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of money yeah. in there. there. And, and with, even within the video game, you know, uh, uh, whole, whatever is happening there, people are just tossing money at it. They don't know. We still haven't figured out quite, you know, it hasn't, mm. it, it's, it's loose. It's very loose. So yeah. I don't well, know. Like, we'll see. But, my- Monkey Blood says they can IP ban folks, but they also can lose a site viewer. Uh, and, and it seems like those viewers are more important than the content creators. Well, I mean, the viewer, the viewer count is is is, is very important, but the IP ban itself is also kind of like a fifty fifty kind of thing, though, too, because like you got to make sure that like. 
where they're going to ban, but they can easily, but that also depends on, on how, cause I mean, you can spoof IPs very easily. So like, uh, uh, so like it, depending on where it's being bounced or, or what, what houses are connected to the IP itself. I'll I tell mean, you right now though. Yeah. To you be honest with you, spoof your IB all you want, but if you come in, you troll raid and you hurt the feelings of any of my viewers, I can instantly uh, within, well, I would say it's like within about five minutes, whether you've spoofed your IP or not, I can find out where you live. Like also that's what I don't get is these people doing these hate raids or like coming in and just mouthing off because they had a horrible day. Like you need to think about the person on the other end. I am knowledgeable in computers. I used to build them. I worked for one of the largest companies companies in the US. I worked for Circuit City. I know how to work on servers. I know how to find you. You yeah, know what I the, mean? Like you're like still the, not the odd man, but you're still like the odd man out. I mean like how many people yeah. how many people in Twitch community knows that know. stuff? Uh, it's like not a lot is what I'm you saying. You know, maybe I'll start spreading that program out for my friends who are content <laughs> creators. So it scares more people. Like I've had mods. They're like, you know that, oh, there's a little, hi, little, my little. <laughs> Lincoln, I think, was trying to ask you something. Oh. Um, No, like, I mean, Ravage on a couple of times has been like, you know, she can find you through your IP address, right? Like, you may not want to take this to that point. <laughs> I like Zakata's <laughs> uh, answer towards it. These hate raiders need to go outside and touch some grass. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those are big facts. More ways than one. Big right. facts. All right. Well, that's, I mean, that was a good topic overall. Thank so, you. yeah, we'll go with it. Hopefully, I give you guys some knowledge that you can take with you and better your communities and keep out the trolls, you know? Mm, yeah, here's no a, uh, a Google Doc on how to set up a panic button if that yep. is something that will be uh, uh, beneficial to you and whatnot. I highly recommend it as does Lex. The other as one is Lex. also, I believe, to get rid of uh, all of... Uh, oh. You know what? I'll have to find it in a second. Here, you guys go ahead with the next topic. I have yeah. one, or if you go to Commander Root's Twitter, he has a whole list. Um, why, don't you link his, his, why don't you link his Twitter? That's what I'm going to do. I'll link yeah, his Twitter. Yeah. He has a whole list of like, these are the tools, uh, and he's very thorough about naming what they do. Um, and you can go ahead and get rid of the bots ahead of time so that if there is a hate raid, they kind of screw themselves over and end up accidentally showing the profile that started it in the first place. So I'll go ahead and do that. But that's that's my topic for the night, boys. That's awesome. That's awesome that they did that, dude. Expose them. Yep. Expose them all. Why don't you close it up for us? What do you got? What are you bringing to the table? Yes, sir. We got to talk about it. Uh, and it's been a while since I've played some Overwatch. There really does not seem like a lot. Not only within the game itself, but just everything with the situation that's been going on over there. However, they they are making moves. We are feeling the impacts of it. We know that, uh, or we now know, because I did not know this beforehand, that one of the characters was named after uh, somebody that was involved. Uh, I'm guessing, uh, I think he's a developer um, but, uh, that, that he was named after this person that has also been accused in, uh, of, of sexual harassment and other various things that's going on within that situation. So mm. they are going ahead and, and they are going to be renaming McCree, Jesse McCree, which we did not realize, uh, I didn't realize was a, oh. a, uh, uh, person. No, we, <laughs> no, yeah. we in that, just you. <laughs> yeah, so there, there it is. As far as with that, it makes sense uh, to me. As far as with that, especially victims that uh, had to deal with this dude. Even though I may not have known, I'm sure that people that are still working there that have had to deal with that situation firsthand, they, you know, that's always something that would be lingering. So to just erase it, that's when we said that before. It's like, look, dude, they gotta, they gotta screw up that bitch down. They got to scrub it down, get rid of all the effect, just just completely toxic everything about it. It's got to it's got to go. And and, you know, I know there's a lot of people that are like, but how did you change his name? I can't believe it. 
And it's like, look, dude, like, Brian really? Does goddamn that- <laughs> river. I don't care. <laughs> number one is a fictional character. So why, you know what I mean? Knowing that, number two, there is a line in there that he says, or that uh, I can't remember who says it, but there's somebody that says to him, is, is McCree even your real name? Mm-hmm. And and you what did you say the response was uh, uh, he again? Responds, he responds along something along the lines of "Wouldn't you like to know?" In that Boom. draw. So and that's the main thing, and I, I believe they're they're looking to get it out before this uh, free for all map comes out as well as far as with that name. But it's basically already built in there to where they're able to then go off and say, "Oh, that was an alias or something like that." He's going to be going as his real name is. Blah, the you know what I mean, <laughs> Captain Mustache or whatever, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The cowboy. So, <laughs> I don't know. So that's you know they're making they're making moves to do things. They they realize that that situation in itself is still ongoing. It's a it's, it's just, a it's, it's a, sucks, it's just a mess. It's just a it dying, is a mess, dude. Mess. Like because I don't even know how to feel. Like I literally haven't played the game. I don't even know last time I played I Overwatch. And you guys, you know me, yeah. dude. Yeah, I I'm love not Overwatch invest- though. Yeah, I wasn't invested in Overwatch as much as you I were. Am. Um, and, uh, I am. Even, even to that extent though like uh to my in my opinion like i i mean i don't i'm i don't know if uh like why like if they like did was people like petitioning to change the no. name or no did they, They're, that's was, them getting ahead of it because they already realized because they yes. already made the mistakes of oh this isn't a big deal and then it, it, yes it is very much the big deal it's a whole cultural big deal over at your company and whatnot and this yeah. now is just a trying to save face They're and some things and get on. ahead of anything exactly okay so it doesn't right. even, i don't think it really has to deal with oh you know some people maybe because majority I, I would say straight up the majority of people did not know that mccree was named after somebody that worked there that is very much yeah, involved no one, in the whole thing think- if anything, exactly. it, could have been, it could have been something that's like on the back end, on the staff that would be like, that's "Oh, wait, an internal thing, internal yeah, people." It could be an internal thing stuff. towards that, exactly. you know. Like maybe that's a, whoever's still on the Overwatch staff that'd be like, "Oh, wow, it's like the, we made a character of this thing." Maybe the, to to accommodate for them, but overall, mm-hmm. I, I I don't know, man. Like I think it's a, I mean, it's like okay, whatever. I I really don't care personally. <laughs> I guess mm. about this, but it's like it's very. I find it fascinating that they're that, that that's what they're doing. What were you going to well, say, Lex? Sorry, you were raising your hand. Uh, Zukar made a comment, and I mean, this goes deeper than just this. Like, I feel like this is almost a distraction because it came out recently in the last couple of days um, that the law firm mm. that Blizzard hired to essentially um, have employees tell what's been going on once they tell the the lawyers for blizzard it they cannot speak to government officials in perpetuity so that's crazy they basically why would you sign a contract like that though how much money did they get no 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 it's to go in it's it's like we want you to come in and talk about like what's happened so uh, Blizzards are having them sign paperwork to shut them up in perpetuity concerning any sort of negative criticism against the company, and it's really scummy. But it gets worse than that, like because um, like the government officials are trying to make like, okay, I'm going to make an appointment with Smitty to talk about the sexual harassment that happened with him, right? Mm-hmm. And then the Blizzard, uh, you know, officials are like, oh, we also need you to tell that to our lawyers. But they don't realize that once they t- tell that to the lawyers and sign the bottom of this is my statement, they cannot talk to anyone else about it further. So it's got an NDA built into it. Then are you yeah. not? Are that's, they not reading the contract? I like, why would you how that's like even working? Like why, yeah, would, like, why would you do that without being unless you were compensated in some sort of way? We're going to give you X amount of dollars settlement. And you have to sign this doodad. You don't just slip that in there unless it's a bunch of dumbasses not reading contracts, which I can't yeah. imagine that's the case. No, it's not it, so much of an idea. You are correct. But it basically what happens is like when you tell a, a lawyer for your company something personal that that has happened, then uh-huh. it, it, it can't technically like there's a law and I can't. 
Zucara or One Up Lawyer would know. The best person, was, you know, the person would kind of verify would be One Up Lawyer, would be Sean to yeah. kind of know on that. But, but like the biggest, yeah. yeah like, once you do that, you can't then go and tell yeah. that same story to the government well, officials that actually needed it in the first place. Yeah, and Zucara just says they are also offering settlements as well, in addition to all of this. I was gonna say, people. there's gotta be some sort of money involved to, some to sign something to some people yes but i can't imagine not getting compensated in some sort of way yeah, to, to uh, the play. and signing okay, something like that tell, like yeah it's like it's like oh hey this all this stuff happened you, to me. yeah and it's like you're not gonna get compensated for that yeah this well, has no, to be some is, sort of level of compensation i'm not talking about the nda compensation stuff but there's some there's a word for it like like let's say the gov- for this for instance again like the government official like is trying to make an appointment with Smitty to talk about his sexual harassment but then mm. the company says we also need you to tell that to our lawyer first because you told it to the lawyer first and not the government official there is some bylaw that Blizzard's like, nope, you already told our lawyers you can't retell that story to the government. Sorry. I want to look into that more because it seems very vague yeah. on that. Because it, seems, it doesn't make any sense. That, oh, like, yeah, they're shutting that down. logic doesn't too. make any lick of sense on that to me. Because yeah. theoretically, because but then again, though, too, the, it's already, the damage has already been done because, like, the, the state has I'm already sure gotten more. their affidavit. Oh, I'm sure there is. But, like, but uh, they're, they're trying to stop the bleeding, I guess. But at the same time, if they're going to tell a person that they can't, that the state can't can't, can't question them on that, it seems I don't see. Illegal. Yeah, I don't <laughs> see how they cannot do that without asking for like, oh, we're going to give you, it's we're going to give you money for this kind of thing because they can't, they don't have that kind of power over you like that. It's like it's confidentiality agreements, essentially, like 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 a therapy session, like whatever I tell my therapist, he can't then turn around and tell somebody else. It's unless you're the individual that's that's openly willing to give that information. uh, out. That's like now. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like there's a word for it. It's bullshit. And usually it works in the favor of said victims, but because it's the company's lawyer and it's their perpetuity that they are trying to protect. Bless me. Uh, it's like it's it's a whole fucking it's a whole shebang. It's 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 BS. No. Is what it is. Uh, throw my lipstick down. I gotta it. look at that. I gotta look at that. That doesn't sound like. Why would you? Why would you even sign something like that? I'm like, no, I'm not gonna talk to you then. I'm not. I'm not obligated then to talk to their they didn't lawyer. Know it first. They didn't. know yeah. it That's first. what I'm saying. It's so yeah. deceptive. Like, how can that be legal? Well, and yeah, they're, all, like, they're literally <laughs> just signing a written out document of their statement and signing it. There's no like but other have- paperwork that they're signing, but because it's blizzards, they're under their umbrella. It's protecting their perpetuity, which means they cannot then go talk to a government okay, official. Okay, but doing it through HR, this, but here's or a, the thing, a lawyer, or probably like a lawyer uh, in HR. Ooh, here's the thing that sounds- doesn't make any, yeah, but here's the thing that doesn't make any sense. You're right. If uh, if it's uh, if it happens under Blizzard's watch, then there you go. But then again, it's your story that happened in Blizzard's uh, uh, in Blizzard's time. So if someone says if something happened. Because that uh, uh, within when you're working at Blizzard and then you're telling her you're saying that oh this person did this 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 and this to me while I was uh while I was working uh, uh working at the uh at the shop and then like uh uh you're telling oh me God, that that's like the name. I can't think yeah of then you're like uh like why is that that's like that, that is essentially something and then the around and sue them is the whole yeah. thing. That would be an NDA, but, though. That but it's not a li- theoretically. But it, Wait, no, it no. isn't an NDA. It's like a loophole. It's like a loophole. It is. I, yeah, no, and I'm not doubting what you're saying. I just don't understand it. Oh, I know. Yeah. I, okay. You know what I mean? Like There's it's like it's like why would it right now? Like, so it sounds like they are being hella deceptive uh, oh, yeah. uh, about it, and then people yeah. are basically putting themselves into a position where then they can't cooperate with the investigation because of this loophole stating that if you do this first and that, that, that is now privileged information that can okay. no longer, that's crazy though. Okay, but like, then, but then why does that too, loophole exist? <laughs> but even if you back that up, if you back that up itself, I doubt that if that's, that's being, crazy, known, yeah. if that's well, being a known thing, then there's, then people are not willing. I, I guarantee, I, I don't think people are stupid enough to be willing like to known. do that. I don't think it's a known thing until recently. Oh uh, yeah. Cause, 
Because otherwise, you know what I mean? Like somebody had to have spilled on, right. hey, man, this is the process that I went through. And they're like, wait a second. Like legally, you can't you talk, can't talk to, to, us. To, to them because you've Here's done this. Analogy. They're like, what? Uh, yeah, Here's a yeah. better analogy. I kill somebody. I hire a lawyer, right? They mm-hmm. caught me. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I'm in handcuffs. I, I get a lawyer. I tell the lawyer, hell, yeah, I killed him. They're going to build a defense stating they didn't, right? Regardless. And that lawyer cannot turn around and tell that judge, yep, she, she told me she shot him right in the face. That's you right. You do that, right? Yeah, but in, in that situation, you're right. But um, but, but in this situation. it's usually in favor of you, but it's laws. because it's corporate laws. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Um, uh, He said if we mm-hmm. pull it up at the 22-minute mark. We'll be okay, able to I, see it. I'm saying that, but like, but in this case, in this, in this situation, the person that like, if you murdered a person that you turned around and confessed that you murdered the person, to my which is lawyer. Uh, no, no, not to your lawyer. I'm talking about to the opposite side, to the defense. Like you decided, like decide, you decided to come clean on it. You mm-hmm. would have to be yourself to say that. But theoretically you're saying that it's illegal for you to do that, <laughs> uh, to confess because it's, it's under privilege between lawyer, uh, lawyer, uh, person, uh, 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 mm-hmm. what's it called, uh, accreditation because that's that's essentially what i'm saying it's like if the per- if the defendant is the one that's going to be saying, towards that. but it's not the same same yeah no because that's it's something well, else uh, it sounds like a loophole dude yeah it sounds it like some sort of loophole and they it's know about loophole. it and, they and just, about it. It's, it does not it definitely we does not help. please talk to our lawyers about yeah. what happened yeah. to you yeah. and, and, yeah. Yeah. and then they did and that this locks them in to a Oh, by the way, this is now a privileged conversation. Okay, okay, you can okay. no longer have a conversation. So the issue is that Blizzard is having their employees bring it to their law team first, and then it cannot be disclosed. So that is what they're saying. So essentially what they're saying is that they're trying to go behind the, the company privilege is if the individual goes to the company first before they go to anyone else. So uh, for, so for, so for, for some further story, that is insane though. Like, uh, but they're being uh, also itself, led to do that as if like, yeah, we want you're here because we, we want to help you and we oh, are yeah. sad for what has gone down and yeah. Yeah. We we want the repercussions, and that's why they're people leading, are. It's yeah. like, a Fortune 500 company being misle- a Fortune 500 company being misleading oh, to their to their employees. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, incredibly shocking. rare. Yeah, I know. <laughs> mm. So yeah, I mean, regardless, it's like it's terrible. The garbage. We already know Activision and Activision Blizzard there he is, is not. Jesse McCree. Yeah, choosing it off. Man, that dude looks like it's a part of ZZ Top. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> but, you yeah, don't want to so, know what I think you look. Oh my Scumbag. god! So like, yeah. So this, yeah. But th- this is just a like more of the tomfoolery and villainy and stuff that that's going to be happening. I I really hope that it's that that not a lot of people are doing it. But oh my god, this is just ridiculous. It's, it's crazy. But I mean, again, well, I this is this is just bringing the light you, you even more you so. Hope- people i if i'm not mistaken like there were hundreds of people that already talked to the lawyers before the government officials so That's like crazy. new evidence that what that was going to come forward did not because these people were misled yeah it's and, it's and what happens history. if they do though what happens if they do and they're like i don't give a shit what the repercussions are who knows i'm gonna, gonna talk do, i'm gonna talk do you really I mean, want to fight point, do you really want to fight against it, activision you as yeah. an individual well no, 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 i'm just saying though, there's they, somebody, I feel like there'd be somebody, clearly, we're sitting here talking right. about it, so we right. know that it's a thing, so somebody right. said something right. about it, well, you know what I mean? Well, and that was before the lawyer was involved, that was before all of this. This is newer information, um, mm-hmm. after the whole Blizzard came out with their statement, Now we knew what it was going on, all that, right? Then the lawyer mm-hmm. stuff started happening. Now, if someone is like, I don't give a shit, I'm going to talk about it anyways to the government officials, Mm -hmm. I think they could sue them. But if they did that, and I mean, zoom me in, ready? I would look like they are idiots, right? Like, how much more of a monster can you make yourself out to be if you sue them for then talking about it? I don't they think don't they give a shit about looking like a monster. They won't freaking care. They want their money. <laughs> they like just said, as long as they are yeah. right there getting them ducats, they don't care how they come out. And they're able to sell stuff. It doesn't matter. It That's why we're in this situation. 
in, in the first place. Yeah. So exactly. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's essentially, like I mean, the only way that they like basically, I think when we when we had the theoretical questions, like what's the way to stop the bleeding for Blizzard is if they sell the if they sell the name the title Blizzard. Yep. Because at this point, it's yep. like now it's like it's so much toxicity on that name right now. It's like it it's like it's going to be hard to to bounce back from uh, to be the same company. So right. like yeah, and, but still, active. It's not like Activision is going to be okay, uh, not going to be okay from it. So, I mean, because Activision still has their golden goose, which is Call of Duty. So like, yep. it really does. It doesn't really like. It's I don't know if it's going to affect them as bad uh, as bad towards all of this. So it's just very like. Oh, it's just it's just like when you hear these these things just to go even worse, uh, just to see even worse on what like what like how bad it really is. It's like, yeah, it's not surprising, but at the same time, it's like it's very disheartening when you hear like so now some people got screwed, uh, got got screwed out of this. Now, like uh, luckily, what what from what Zakara is saying is like they are. Uh, they're adding. Uh, they added this. Uh, added that complaint to the court, like the misleading because it's right. very misleading. That's incredibly yes. misleading. If that if they didn't t- if they didn't if they're saying like oh you can't and it's intentional. you can't do it the yeah intention it's incredibly is what they intentional to it's yeah. freaking right. insane so like uh, yeah so so what are they going to do with that information because they're not going to do anything with it like they did before I mean they they had this information before and they did jack crap with they're it they're not so, going to do anything so with like, it so like we'll see yeah they were trying know. to jump they were trying to jump in front of the the fire essentially well they already. It. You they can't, can't stop the fire, fire when you're already out. in it. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, there you go. This is not they looking, and this is just fire. like completely Never hurts my heart go. for Overwatch too, and Never everything. We love Papa Jeff. Like, ah, man, it's hard to. We spent so many, so many hours playing. Like, I know. I'm, like that mm. was my like you literally got me through one of the toughest times of my life playing Overwatch with me afterwards. That's so crazy because I had no idea. Oh yeah, I would cry I all the like... way home because I hurt so oh, bad. Oh my goodness! And then I would sit mm. on my ottoman with my pillows and my heating pads, and I would just sit there for hours and play Overwatch with you. Oh, and, of course and, they and, are. Like I'm that song bitch. That's oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, what? It was terrible though. It was terrible because I was yeah. in a terrible relationship as well. <laughs> uh, dang. dang dude so wait which one mine go. no what? me oh. I was too. No, dude right. relationship I was it was so toxic <laughs> it was fine it was bad it was just crazy but yeah you- but it's unfortunate <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yes what do you got plan what do you got planned for the week <laughs> I was gonna shut this off right now. <laughs> I was Stop. playing some games. Nah, you know what we're gonna do? Hey, I know. Oh, I, I know. know. I know. Everyone I join what? Paladins. Can I say Paladins what it is, is tonight? There. I know what? what he's doing tonight. Yeah, say it. It's what are you gonna do? Eight night for Destiny E2 with all the boys, and he's stealing my boyfriend. Stealing my boyfriend. Please okay. so just be my boyfriend tonight. When we go pew pew. Y'all made right, no sense to me right now. No, <laughs> that, that, no, so what's happening tonight is we are, it's raid night. It is raid Saturday. <laughs> oh, Zuzu, okay. Dust will be there. Other members yeah, of like the clan as well. The well. <laughs> We're gonna be running through uh Volta Glass, still trying to get that mythic class, still trying. Um mm-hmm. and then uh, I think uh Dust said something no, about sure. uh doing a dungeon or something like that afterward or whatever, dude. Like I'm playing some video games. I thought about cause I didn't stream uh this week. I thought about streaming, but I think I'm just gonna keep it chill tonight. Just play mm-hmm. some games and and then uh hang out, hang out with the with the folk, with the people. What about Very you? Nice. What do you got going on, Mike? Lex, yeah. <laughs> what, me or Lex? I don't even know who you're talking to. No, Lex already said what. All right, did Lex say what she was doing tonight? Lex oh. saying what you were doing tonight. Oh, That's I asked what... you. I'm just making oh. uh, Borax, Borax crystals for my Halloween <laughs> decorations for the next couple days. I feel and betrayed. streaming is going to be spotty <laughs> this week because we are friends in town. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, that's true. Arts and crafts, yeah, and then no, I've got Zuzu, friends in town. I've got all the love to give to people. I can give love here. I can give love there. I have no favorites. I just like loving. He'll just that's forget very, everything you said to him, sir. Very incredibly <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> that's it. It's right now. Yes. 
As for me, I am going to probably uh, like this could probably hopefully going to be the last week of me not streaming. So it'll be a month off of streaming. But I will say this. Uh, I got uh, someone streaming on our page on Monday. Uh, we're going to be doing a, something new. Um, we're going to be doing a trivia uh, game night. Uh, Ooh, on, when's that uh, on Twitch. Good at uh, yeah. You haven't even invited us, dude. What an asshole. What the hell? That's how I we know. have to work with. I'm not, this is I'm we have not to work with it. I'm not running oh. it. It's not me. Yeah, it's not like I'm not doing it. You invite yeah. like, hey, I, got, I got some friends. They're going to be a part of this. We got some other people. Well, so apparently, they got some other people. Then they, they're doing they're doing a trivia. Like they they're going to start doing like random trivia every Monday. So they're going to do it on, on our channel. So we're going to do that on Monday, and then uh uh and then uh I believe I don't think I probably won't be able to come back until Friday. But uh we're going to be doing some more Final fi- uh, Final Fantasy Friday with some more fourteen, so I can finish that nice. game up. And uh, that's pretty much going to be uh it's going to be rather a chill a chill week. Uh, well, not really a chill. Oh. But- Wait, you forgot to ask Jadzia. Jadzia, what are you doing? Who? Living in her cat castle. Oh, the cat. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> Davis refuses to learn my cat's name. He's like, I no. I refuse to cat. learn any cat's name. It's always going to be either cat or dog for me. All What's my dog's look at name? It. Look at it. Dog. Look at it. There it is. <laughs> Thank you for watching episode number 104 of the CFG Gamecast. Thank you for being a part of the conversation. As always, we will be back again next week. But if you did miss our episode today, that's okay. You can always check us out on Mondays. We release it on podcast services, all podcast services like Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, as always. So there is not an excuse to not listen to our sexy, sexy voices. Ooh. Yeah. So we'll be back again next week with some more awesome topics to share with you and with the with the crowd so uh once again this is davis smitty and lex signing off y'all take it easy bye